This is for my Phantom Ranger project, which I'm creating a three-dimensional color wheel for hairdressers. Um, creating a three-dimensional color wheel, how do you see the layers of color? With my first experimentation, it failed because I could not see the layers of color as I was trying to spin the wheel. These colors weren't translucent enough to see how they would layer, and there was no clear space to see how the colors could go together solution by adding a clear space we can add different colors to see the progression of color so here I'm taking the blue and you can see how the blue gets lighter then unlocking the file for the purple and you could see how that can make the purple deeper so hair set dressers would be able to take turn the wheel turn the different polygons and see the progression of color happen so if I had purple plus blue it equals a very deep purple tone and it's supposed to show how to add colors and what that effect happens and how to cancel out colors so here's a live test version I'm adding green and yellow and trying to create a light green and it helps you understand how uh, to cancel out colors so they're complementary tones so that when you're formulating against certain colors you could see exactly how you need to what colors you need to add in order to cancel those tones out so with this one big problem with the super glue it was an extremely uh, volatile volatile substance because it kept on um, oozing out everywhere and it got over everything so now I know not to use that and here you could see that I add yellow and red and you can see the orange tone in the middle um, to help hair colors understand color theory we add different color polygons and put them around a center point so that you can rotate them and it also describes remaining pigment contribution what color is left when you diffuse the melanin in the hair so after um, hydrogen peroxide lifts the hair, these are the levels that you see um, when you lift from blackest color to lightest yellow. And here's experimentating with uh, different triangles, which I like the shape of that more. And you can see how the colors layer together to get orange, to get a light green, to get a, a purple tone, and how all of those work together in different shapes. And now my final experimentation will be to use uh, different triangles to create a polygon so that I stick with the color wheel shape, the octagon and the polygon and the circular shapes in order to understand complementary, secondary tones and tertiary tones. So once you put them all together, you could see how they neutralize. And then spreading them apart, you could see the purple that happens and then how the purple is canceled by the yellow. And here are my references. Thank you.